Welcome back, Alfonso Nation. Alfonso Peterman here, and yes, we finally got some new information on the future of Transformers sent directly from the very spark of our life giver, Hasbro themselves. Definitely a long time coming since we've pretty much been dead in the water with Transformers movie updates, but yesterday we finally got a little bit of drizzle in the Sahara. So they just wrapped up the Hasbro Investor Day event 2022, which is pretty much kind of like a D23 except for Hasbro, and thankfully, Transformers got a little bit of much needed attention. Which even though we didn't get any major content reveals, it's still a reassuring and relieving experience to know that they have a pretty solid plan for the future and they want to keep the franchise going, which is a sight for sore eyes. Let's roll through the recap. Alfonso, this is Optimus Prime. Transform and roll out. Alright, so first off, after a very thorough and almost dragged out promo for Dungeons and Dragons, another movie, by the way, which I'm kind of surprisingly intrigued by and almost excited to see, Hasbro has confirmed that their contract with Paramount will be renewed for specifically the Transformers and G.I. Joe brands. Now, they did mention that they are, are going to be making some changes with how they source partnerships for certain brands and certain franchises, but for Transformers, it's going to pretty much remain consistent with Paramount for now. Now, and I think that's actually kind of a good idea, at least for now, considering that we're already in the process of starting up a new theatrical trilogy. Secondly, and interestingly, they already officially greenlit the second season of the Earth Spark show. Now, this one was kind of a surprise and really shows off their confidence. They've been actively promoting this from the licensing expo to Hasbro PulseCon, and now the Investor Day event. Now, in fairness, we're just about a month away from the release of this show, so the market Marketing should be ramping up around this time. It's a fair thing to see a lot of marketing, a lot of promotions for it. But for them to initiate projections for a season two, prior to the launch and audience reaction of season one is a pretty bold move and it really shows that they have a lot of confidence that the show is going to do well. But the project that I think it's safe to say is on most of our minds is the upcoming summer flicks for Transformers that we can expect in the foreseeable future. And that includes Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Now, even though we're pretty far out still from this film's release, I think we are still within a pretty reasonable time frame for marketing to start gradually ramping up at a steady pace. I mean, we are still less than one year away from this film, and the closer we get to the end of the year and the beginning of next year, the more things will ramp up, and this was kind of the start of Hasbro's mentioning and acknowledgement. It's really good to know that they're starting to acknowledge this big budget blockbuster film that will be coming in the next year that a lot of fans have been pretty much dying to hear about. Well, guess what? Yesterday for the Investor Day event, Hasbro actually played an official promo clip for Transformers Rise of the Beasts, but once again, reserved it for the in-house audience and nothing for the public yet. Ah, I know. Yeah. Y yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. Now, I was actually registered as press for this event, so I was watching it in real time. I was watching it live. And even though I couldn't actually see what was going on in the promo clip, I only saw like a little portion of it. You know, some trees and like, like, a, like a road maybe. It was really hard to see and they pretty much censored it for public view. But I did notice something a little bit interesting about this trailer moment that they played for Rise of the Beasts. And I noticed that the promo clip that was played here was much longer in duration than the one that played at CinemaCon. 2022. The attendees at that event reported that the clip that was shown was just about maybe 12 seconds long, give or take, and it showed Noah, played by Anthony Ramos, and shots of Optimus Prime, and the Autobots driving. But nothing too crazy, nothing too lengthy. Whereas the one that was played at Investor Day was definitely at least one minute long. Now, given what we know publicly about this film and the progress so far, and also given some things that I know privately, I don't think this was a full-length theatrical trailer that they played at the Investor Day, especially given the fact that they actually confirmed during the event that they are still within the post-production phase of this movie, perfecting a lot of the things in this movie. I think this was a teaser trailer. Teaser trailers are typically shorter than full-length trailers and normally comprises of like scenery, environments, and very brief 
teaser sound bites as opposed to a full preview to the story. And also considering the fact that, uh, according to my sources, which I trust my sources, they've been correct about everything so far that they've told me, there were some extensive reshoots that had to be conducted for this film to perfect this film, and a lot of the situations involving COVID kind of delayed some things. Now, they did conduct reshoots for the vehicles that were needed, around the time when they were in Montreal, they were able to do that right away, but there were a lot of reshoots that had to be done for the actors and actresses, and that's what caused the delay for them to push it to this fall to, because of the scheduling delay with some of the actresses and actors. So considering that we are currently in the fall and they were capable of doing a lot of these reshoots that they needed to do, I think they have the footage and they have the material enough for a teaser, but not necessarily for a trailer just yet because they are still in post. So they're still editing some of that reshot footage. But what this does imply is that a teaser is complete and ready to roll. So it's not really a matter of unpreparedness, but timing. I think they're just not ready to show us yet. So I'm still banking on something around the end of the year, maybe December 2022 or the beginning of the next year, maybe January 2023, is when we're really going to start seeing something more extensive for Rise of the Beasts. It's kind of a hard thing to predict because it's, it's a very unusual time, especially in the film industry, in the world generally, and also with the changes happening in, in, in the actual franchise. So I think we just got to hold fast as much as we can and hopefully we get something soon. Now, what we did get to see for the first time in an official presentation format from Hasbro is a brand new Rise of the Beast animated render of Optimus Prime in his robot mode as they promoted a few mobile games. Now, this isn't our very, very first look of Optimus Prime in that design scheme specifically. We did get an image of him on a piece of stationery, but this is just another render. Now, I think it looks pretty decent. I mean, it's sort of lacking in a few details here and there but just trust me when i tell you that this is a very simplified version of what we're going to see on screen that live action detail especially in the app section some of the arms i this is not 100 how he's gonna look in a movie just take my word for it just trust me now to my absolute amazement and surprise they literally brought up the 2024 animated Transformers film, previously reported for a while, but we didn't really get too much about it. But this one's directed by Josh Cooley. Man, I was like, oh, let's go. I did not expect for them to really like talk about it that much and really give us anything for that. And they didn't really give us much. But what they did give us is an official release date. So now we know that this film, the 2024 still untitled animated Transformers movie is set for July 19th, 2024. Surprisingly, there was a little bit of commentary they provided on that about what exactly uh, this film is going to be like. And I, I, I have the quote right here. Now, this is a direct quote from the event. And this is what they had to say about the upcoming 2024 animated Transformers movie. The film's not yet titled, but we see this as a four quadrant tentpole release in the vein of Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. I think that is insane. So that quote by itself literally blew up on my Twitter, but it largely got a lot of people hyped just because of the comparison that they've made. And lastly, we did get a fuzzy little sneak peek at a piece of retail standee that will be likely coming to retail stores around the time that marketing starts to ramp up for Transformers Rise of the Beasts. And you can clearly see that there's Optimus Prime standing there and there's like this giant section where they're gonna have merch. They're gonna have figures, different collectibles, little tiny items, maybe some stationery for Rise of the Beasts. As somebody who does toy hunts and has been doing it for several years, that will be super awesome to pull up in like Walmart or Target and you see the entire aisle taken up by this massive standee. I really hope that we get a more clear image. Obviously they probably won't show a lot uh, or they probably don't release a full resolution of this because they're going to show a lot of the figures. Some of the characters is going to reveal some of the official renders, which I think is not a bad thing at all. So after these announcements and after this event, I really got like my spirits were high. I was I was uplifted. I felt refreshed and they didn't even tell us much. But the fact that they just acknowledged us, they acknowledge what we've been waiting for, what we've been dying for. That alone does something. It makes a difference. And that's why I'm so happy about this event. I just 
would love to see the Transformers Entertainment era rise again. We've gotten toys, that's fine. We've gotten comics, those are fine. We've gotten things here and there, and that's all fine. But nothing hits like a theatrical film. Nothing blows up the world industry or gets the attention of the world and brings new fans in, in my view, like films do. That's what I want to see return. And hopefully, this new trilogy does that for us. So because of this event, I was excited, I was kind of hyped, and I wanted to make a visual of what our future kind of most likely will look like for Transformers movies. So I drafted up this little chart thing. And you know, it's like a production slate that we normally see for the Marvel Cinematic Universe or, you know, even in some DCEU circles. But I wanted to make one for Transformers and I think this really represents a really solid look at our foreseeable future. And what I have here is Transformers Earth Spark, which is obviously the show releasing on November 11th, 2022. And then June 9th, 2023, we have the Transformers Rise of the Beasts movie. And then uh, July 19th, 2024, that is the animated Transformers film. I'm gonna be very, very careful because somebody noted this on Twitter, which I think is a really good point for me to not say Transformers animated movie. It is a animated Transformers movie because if we say Transformers animated, we think of the actual cartoon and we don't want to confuse people that they're making a live action version of that cartoon, which would be awesome, but that's not what this movie is. I don't think, we don't really know yet, but just to be clear, it is an animated style, the Transformers movie for July 19th, 2024, directed by Josh Cooley, which is pretty freaking cool. And then we also have the, the second installment that will follow is a sequel of Transformers Rise of the Beasts. This is another theatrical film that will follow. And then we have the third installment of Transformers Rise of the Beasts. I use the same logo because it's going to be a trilogy. So we know that it is the start of a new trilogy. So that's three films right there we have confirmed. And then of course the leaked rumored Transformers Paramount Plus original live action series. Now I put this in there only because the leaker that brought us information on this is a reputable leaker, Daniel Richman. He predicted that John Krasinski was going to be Mr. Fantastic in Multiverse of Madness. He predicted that Loki would be revealed as a bisexual character having both male and female love interests in the Loki show and he also predicted that Deadpool 3 would be in development and a lot of other things he said that would happen way beforehand came true so he is a reputable leaker obviously it's not confirmed by Hasbro and the project could be scrapped take it with a grain of salt it is still a rumor that's why I put basically like a leak slash rumor but there is still hope that something like that could happen but that's pretty much our timeline that is our upcoming entertainment projects our production slate that we can pretty much kind of rely on so far and hopefully it grows and there's more that we can expect from it. But I would like to end off the video just with the thing that I tweeted with this and I think it's just a great way to sum everything up which is I guess what makes me so happy about this event and happy about this moment. And this is what I tweeted, I said, with each one of these projects there's going to be an onslaught of marketing. Like every last one of them there's going to be marketing. From digital content, merch, action figures, stationery, and more. I'm glad they're pumping more into the franchise that I've adored since I was a kid. A new generation of Transformers is upon us. I really believe that. It's gonna be awesome. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below about this event. Are you excited for it? Do you think the event kind of raised up your hopes or kind of gave you some restoration? Or is this still kind of lackluster, kind of lame? You need the trailer to get excited. Let me know how you think in the comments below. Keep it respectful. And yeah, drop a like on it. Share this around. Keep supporting my platforms. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok. I try to keep you guys updated with like reels and shorts and little different pieces of like posts I try to keep up with the news. I'm a one-man show, but I'm trying to do my best to keep up with it. So I would appreciate all of your support. I'm much love to all of you guys. And thank you for all the new followers on my Twitter. That's been going crazy and blowing up. So I really appreciate that because this is my passion. So I would love to see my hard work pay off with some growth and also on Instagram as well. So thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you all in the next one. I'm excited. Let's freaking go. Road to Rise of the Beasts has begun. The hype train is setting off <laughs> out of the station. Thanks for watching, until all are one. Peace.